Welcome back to another episode of Unity in Minutes. In our previous videos, we have covered most of the elements of a basic FPS game, namely player movement, ray casting and explosions, enemy AI and so on. Today, we'll be working on the score counting mechanism. Score counting is one of the most basic yet integral part of a game. Imagine playing Call of Duty without having any counter for your damage or kills. You can imagine it, but that's not the point. Now most games have the same underlying mechanism for score counting. So let's begin today's tutorial. First, let's check this to 2D view. To add the text that will show our score, let's go to UI, text. By default, it should appear on the bottom left, right here. Let's center this text. We'll do so by shifting the anchor to the top center by clicking here on the right. Let's keep the offset from the anchor for X as 0 and Y at minus 55. Let's go to the text box and scale the size up and change the alignment to center. We will have to change the horizontal overflow from wrap to overflow. This is a contingency for the event that the text does not fit the box. Let's just write score here. As you can see, the text does not stand out very much. So let's make it brighter. This text is static. To make it change as our game progresses, let's add a script and call it score manager. Open Visual Studio. For a UI element like the score, we must include unityengine.ui. We'll be using the awake function, so we won't be requiring start. Let's get rid of it. We have to create a reference for this score, public static int score. We are using a static integer here, as we are going to update this script every time a zombie is killed from our previous scripts. Missing this step out is a really common problem for beginners. We also have to create a public reference for this score. In a week, let's use get component to get the text box and set the score to zero. Now, in update, we have to change the text displayed. So let's keep it as score followed by our static integer value. It's time to go back to Unity. If you click on the text UI object here, you'll notice a box on the right in the inspector. Drag and drop the text object onto it. The only thing left to do now is call this script from our zombie script. Let's create a variable, say score value. This is the amount by which our score will increment on the death of a zombie. Now let's go down here to the die script. As I said before, we'll be calling our previous script the score manager from this one. So in the loop, let's write score manager dot score plus equal to score value. This will increment the score if the zombie dies. It's time to go back to Unity and click play. As you can see, as the zombies die, our score is increasing. With that, we have successfully added a score counter to our mini FPS game, taking us a step further into the world of game development with Unity. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, 
and subscribe and tune in next week for another tutorial.